Okay, so this is the very first mission, which is to rescue Miller. Small spoilers there. So remember that in order to get the Foxhound logo, you need to go all the way here into game settings and you need to have reflex mode off. This will make the game a little bit harder, but if you've played any other Metal Gear Solid game, then you're used to not having it by now. So now, also that would have us go to that town and investigate and everything, but because we already know where everything is and how to do everything, we're just gonna go ahead straight for Miller's location and do this in basically under 15 minutes. And most of the time it's actually spent waiting near the end, and I'll show you why once we get there. But for the moment, just work your way there, ignore the outposts that you have between you and Miller, and yeah, just keep running. As I was saying, I like to come in through this side because it's got a little bit of grass and an incline where there aren't really any guards looking in your direction. There's only one that can sometimes see you, but if you go prone, he will never see you. And it's also the shortest route that I can figure out towards Cass's location, as well as the location if there ever is another hostage in this area. They're always in the same room, so... Now, as you can see, we are approaching from this side. There is only that one guard over there. He is the one that has a small chance of spotting you right there next to the tree, even during night. However, if you go prone, he will never spot you. And you only have to go prone until he gets behind that wall right there that's behind him. We'll just approach very silently. Nobody knows anything. As you can see, he's looking straight at us, which is how he can see you. So we'll just be over here. And now that he's behind the wall, just barely, we can stand up and start sneaking back over here. Now, right here, this wall right here, in this very specific spot, right over here at the end, you can actually climb up it. Right here. And we have that soldier over there. Now, we could... Trank him. However, that would draw attention. Because he would leave there, we, we would have to go over there, pick up the body, drag it over here, and that's going to take some time. And if anybody happens upon that body, it's going to be even worse for us because that means the alarm gets raised, people start walking around and breaking their patrol patterns, and our planning goes to hell. So we're just going to climb up here, not for really any specific reason other than there's usually a diamond up here, usually. It's not right here for me right now, but I can live without it. It's only 10,000 GMP. Now, wait for that guy to go down the stairs. Make sure nobody's coming. And down we go. Go in here. And there's Kaz right there. Now, as you can see, I accidentally kicked that little bucket there. And that got that guy's attention. The guy that we were trying to avoid right now. So, seeing as how he is actually going to come up and check this room. We are going to come in here and hide under the bed. And we are going to wait for him. Now, the advantage is that somehow nobody sees you under this bed. There's the door opening. That means he's almost here. He can wait a little bit more. He's already lasted one day, so we can wait. Now, you can either wait for him to leave, which could take a... Or you can do what I'm about to do right here. And... Once you have him in this position, you can tell him to get down. And according to the game, as long as none of their friends come and find them or they get shot at, they stay like that. I haven't tried to test it out myself, so I just trank them and get it over with. And at least I know how long that lasts. Let's get the cinematic because we don't really need to see it again. Here we go. He is now on our back. Saves us a little bit of time. You've secured the target. I'll send the chopper to get you 
and now Make your way to the RV. at this very moment I'm not really sure what I'm trying to do. Probably look around corners. Here we go. Now, right now, there is a soldier going up the ramp. There, you just barely saw him right there. So just listen carefully for his footsteps. And thanks to the fact that I have surround sound on, although you can't hear it in the video, I knew he was already past that point, so... Now all we gotta do is walk this way, carry him over, and we're halfway done. Now comes the part that requires a enough cash. So the guy over there won't see us somehow. Don't ask me how, but he doesn't. You can see him right there. So there we go. He turns around. Wrong time for him to turn around, so we are on our way. Now once we get to the landing zone, the second part of the mission starts technically and it's the part that you will probably have the most trouble waiting because it requires a lot of patience so as you probably remember from this mission if you're not doing it if you haven't done it yet and you're just following that as a type of guide or tutorial or walkthrough go straight to the landing spot pause this video and once the event happens you can come back but anyway once we're we're make sure, making sure we're still out of the range okay nobody is there we should be safe now now we could get the horse, doesn't really matter. Getting, getting him on and off, the horse would take time. He's still there. However, because of what's about to happen, putting them putting him on the horse really isn't beneficial at all and it only burns time. So approach. Skip the cinematic. Now, because we click skip, we accidentally throw him. <laughs> we can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. Now, right there are the skulls. Now, these guys are... Basically, you cannot beat them unless you have a homing rocket launcher with you. Which you obviously will not at this point. So, what do you do? Well, it's actually very easy and very time-consuming. But, once you take a look at them for quite an extended period of time, you will notice that they travel in your general direction, although very, very slowly, some would say even slower than zombies. But anyway, what it's going to take around four minutes-ish for them to get ha about halfway across the bridge, those over there. Those are the ones you want to take your time with. So I'm going to fast forward, and once they get a halfway across the bridge, we will continue. Okay, so now that they are about halfway across the bridge, we can finally sneak past them. Now, if you're like me, the first time you saw them, you would you try to go for a headshot with the train gun, and unfortunately, if you shoot anything, and I mean anything at them, you're heading outside the mission area. like literally, even if you shoot someone next to them with something, with even with a silenced gun, they will notice you and suddenly go crazy, and you there's no way you can fight back. All you can do at that point is run. So, we're just going to go over here. We sneak past them. This is why we let them get about halfway across the bridge. Get behind the rock so that we have a little bit better chance. Now, the closest I've ever been to them without them seeing me is around 40 meters. I haven't been any closer than that. I haven't dared to because, I mean, I don't want to fight these things. They're annoying. So now that we're almost past them, we're going to get past this bridge. And once there, we can simply summon back the horse. He'll just teleport over here. He won't actually run past them. Because game mechanics. So here we go. I saw a couple lights over there and I thought it might be more of them. So 
So now that we're at a safe distance from him, call a D-horse. There he is. We just need to put Kaz on him now. Now all we gotta do now is run all the way over there. Here we go. All we gotta do now is get Kaz onto the helicopter. It is easy. We got on with him. And it's mission complete. Press E to get on with him. And we're done. And there we go. S rank. And we did not do anything. So as you can see, that is all you need to do for the Foss Hound emblem on the first mission. And hopefully this will give you a quick guide on how to do it, because it's not that difficult. So, I will see you on the next mission.